From dynamic discussions to innovative showcases, the Tanzanian annual ICT conference attracted over 1,000 participants. At its inaugural Africa Youth in AI competition, one of the winners was Mkono, a revolutionary bionic hand controlled by brain signals designed specifically for upper limb amputees. This cutting edge device is produced locally through 3D printing. Uh, these are technologies that were thought uh, at one point in time uh, too hard to develop in Africa. Uh, but then that's not the case. We are developing something very similar to what is going on in Europe uh, and the first world. Uh, and we are doing it locally, uh, fabricating it locally uh, and using the local people uh, to, to, to actually develop it. Themed unleashing the power of AI and robotics for socio-economic transformation, the event highlights Tanzania's aspirations to become a leading technology hub in Africa. The government wants an AI strategy in place immediately. In the 21st century, it's clear that the use of AI and robotics is increasing exponentially. If we want to achieve our agenda for 2030 of building a truly digital economy by 2034, there is a clear need to increase our creativity and work in these technologies. This will help us create high-level, efficient and customized solutions for our society. The government has allocated land in the capital, Dodoma, for the construction of a state-of-the-art digital college that will teach and utilize metaverse technologies. The move is part of its Digital Agenda 2030 a plan to create a robust digital economy. On its eighth edition this year, the event's focus isn't just on technology, it's on transformation. By harnessing the power of AI and robotics, Tanzania aims to leapfrog its development challenges. The government wants local innovations to pave the way for smarter agriculture, efficient healthcare, and enhanced education systems. Dr. Nkundwe Mwasaga from the ICT Commission addressed an ambitious initiative the creation of a Swahili-based large language model. This groundbreaking project promises to revolutionize the way local languages are used in AI and machine learning. This will create space for a very high level of creativity with this large language model because it will allow us to make solutions for teachers, health workers, etc. All the specializations that we will see fit. So that is a huge step and we are moving along. As the conference concludes, Tanzania is not just embracing the future, it is stepping boldly in its role as a robotics and AI hub on the continent. The innovations showcased and the passionate young talents identified here are paving the path towards economic growth, enhanced productivity and improved lives. Daniel Kijo, CGTN, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.